Me hours, sponsored by Eggland's Best. I'm Matt Piper in New York. Flights are canceled and its stock is dropping. Hundreds more Southwest Airlines flights are being canceled for now a fourth day. The company is shooting down reports that it's in response to the airline's decision to mandate COVID vaccinations. Its stock is down 4%. Passengers are steamed, says WWL's Dave Cohen. The flight board at New Orleans Armstrong International Airport continues to show delay after delay for Southwest flights. Passengers are getting anxious. It's not been fun, you know, it's not a good way to end our honeymoon. Try to get back. We're going to try and get there. There has been some improvement in the situation. After a slew of cancellations earlier in the day, most flights now are delayed, not canceled. Dave Cohen for CBS News, New Orleans. We're following breaking news out of Santee, California, just outside San Diego. There's been a twin-engine small plane crash down into a neighborhood. Video from the scene shows at least two homes destroyed. The FAA is investigating. It's been six months since someone walked into a Colorado Kroger and killed several people. KCNC TV's Rick Salinger with an update on recent questions raised about the suspect's mental health. In a previous court appearance, the judge asked Amada Lisa, do you understand your rights as I have explained to you? We watched as he clearly responded yes. But now doctors who have evaluated him have found that Alisa is not competent to stand trial due to an over-reliance on his attorneys. Prosecutors want a new evaluation. There are espionage-related charges against an American accused of trying to give U.S. military secrets to a foreign government. CBS's Catherine Herridge is following that. It's alleged in the court papers that Jonathan Tobey took this data card that was encrypted and he wrapped it in plastic and then he inserted it inside this peanut butter sandwich which was then put in like a Ziploc bag and then it was left at the location for what he thought was a foreign government operative to pick it up. What he didn't realize at the time is that it was an undercover FBI agent. Feeling anxious because of the pandemic? You are far from alone. The Gene Site Mental Health Monitor Survey says while many Americans are feeling anxious, one in five say they won't seek treatment, while others say they'll just wait until those symptoms are affecting their lives. Just over a third say they have symptoms that are concerned, but when it comes to getting help, about half said it would take something debilitating like a panic attack, while about a third say their symptoms would have to affect relationships, sleep, or not being able to leave home. Peter King, CBS News. Back to that San Diego plane crash at least two people killed. This is CBS News. Egg what? What's today's news? Today's news. I didn't hear any good news. Did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these dash cam news adventures. You know the drill. Peace. Love. And all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.